recent college graduate from Northboro is all ready to start work as a nurse, but the problem is she can't. She's just waiting on the state to allow her to schedule her state licensing exam. And frustrated with the lack of information from the state nursing board, she reached out to the I-Team's call for action. Here's WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka. A St. Anne's Elm nursing graduate who spent her final clinical rotation working with critically ill COVID patients, Natalie Rogers is ready to get to work. Scary at first. I had the full gown, mask, gloves, everything. It was definitely very hot in there all the time, um, but I absolutely loved it. But instead of taking care of patients, she's spending her summer walking the family dog, volunteering at vaccine clinics. What's the question? And studying for her licensing exam, a test she has no idea when she's going to take. I'm kind of just waiting to get that email. The email she's waiting for is from the State Board of Registration in Nursing with information on when and where she'll take the test. But so far, she and many of her nursing grad friends have heard nothing. It's kind of like I just feel stuck. I don't have a job. I'm a new grad. I just feel kind of lost right now. It's just frustrating for me as a mother. I'm a nurse, and I took my test within two weeks, and I knew the results and everything, and I started working right away. When the I-Team contacted the state, it told us the problem is in part due to the thousands of temporary licenses issued during the pandemic to help take care of COVID patients. Now all those nurses need permanent licenses. And in a statement, the Department of Health said this unprecedented volume of pandemic-related licenses coupled with the influx of new graduates resulted in some licensure delays. Natalie says she's ready to stop studying and start putting what she's learned to good use. I'm definitely ready to get out into the field and start working. The state tells us they only became aware of this issue recently, and they're now hiring more staff to work through the backlog. The Department of Health says recent grads like Natalie should be getting an email with their exam date this week. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.